Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 84 Horizon Alliance Seeing as Sure Fong was about to leave, the members from Ouroboros were stupefied. There was actually a man who would treat Gentle Snow in such a way. He even discarded the chance to work with Ouroboros without hesitation. Zhao Yueru panicked, her words caught in her mouth. She almost wanted to hold back Sure Fong and mediate between them. Even the wise Gentle Snow had yet to speak. If Zhao Yueru took action herself, her standing out might cause the situation to worsen. So, without a better choice, she just pulled on Gentle Snow's arm, secretly reminding her. However, what Zhao Yueru did not know was that Gentle Snow was similarly stupefied. She did not imagine that Sher Feng's goal from the start was not to join Ouroboros but to cooperate with them on equal standing. However, did Sher Feng have the qualifications to do so? Ouroboros was not as simple as it looked. It was a colossus in the virtual gaming world. The resources in its possession were not something an average player could imagine. To be able to cooperate with Ouroboros with equal statuses, at the very least, they needed to be a first-rate guild equally. On the other hand, the man before Gentle Snow wanted to cooperate with Ouroboros on equal standings as if it were a matter of course. For him to be so confident, did this man truly have some sort of hidden power standing behind him? This was also not an impossibility. Being able to carry out this series of matters, in addition to obtaining such a set of equipment, was not something a person could do within such a short period. Black Flame definitely possessed the support of a great power. That's the only way he would be capable of causing the vicious competition that was happening right now. According to their guild statistics, the income Black Flame obtained from selling the forging designs exceeded 60 gold coins. Meanwhile, the fluid funds of a first-rate guild right now did not exceed even three gold coins. If this money were utilized properly, it would allow a first-rate guild to surpass the other first-rate guilds instantly. Becoming a super guild would not be a problem. Suddenly, Gentle Snow felt chills crawl down her spine. As the vice leader of Ouroboros, she actually failed to notice such a great hidden power. However, for a power to be unknown to her, one could just imagine how deep this power hid. Fortunately, she was able to discover it now. Whether they were a friend or a foe remained unknown. Please wait. Gentle Snow urged Shurfong to stay, saying, You too should know that our Ouroboros is a first-rate guild. There are not many powers out there who possess the qualifications to work with us. If you can prove that you have the ability and capital and that your proposal would bring Ouroboros great benefits, then we can come to an agreement. Humph, Ouroboros sure does have a very big tone. You should know that the first-rate guilds that I can choose to cooperate with aren't just limited to you. Sure Fong turned around and looked at Gentle Snow, acting as if he did not place Ouroboros in his eyes at all. Afterward, he took out one of the level 10 mysterious iron equipment forging designs that he bought from Blackbeard, waving it in front of Gentle Snow's face. He then said with a sneer, I wonder what thoughts you will have after seeing this? Do you think I have enough qualifications? How could it be? Gentle Snow could not believe what her eyes were seeing. Her heart was filled with extreme shock. How did you obtain a level 10 mysterious iron forging design? Right now, even the level 3 glimmer chestplate forging design was being fought over insanely. The value of the forging design in Shurfeng's hands right now simply could not be imagined. To the elites of a guild, the level 3 glimmer chestplate forging design was not particularly useful. The main purpose of a guild obtaining it was just to earn money and nurture their own forgers, increasing the advantage that their guild possessed over others. However, when compared to the forging design that Shurfong was currently holding, the glimmer chestplate forging design was not even worth being mentioned. Led by one step, then lead to every other step. This was the natural law of the virtual gaming world. Every guild knew of this law. Trade secret. Don't think too much about it. Shurfong kept the forging design. If there aren't any other matters, then I'll be leaving. It was absolutely impossible for Gentle Snow to allow the person in front of her, who possesses a level 10 mysterious iron equipment forging design, to leave. Moreover, to allow him to cooperate with another first-rate guild. 
if she were to allow the other first-rate guilds to obtain him and mass-produce these pieces of equipment, equipping every elite member with it, then the competition for the kingdom's capital would no longer be necessary. All right, I agree. State how we should cooperate then. Gentle Snow grit her teeth, yielding to sure Fong in the end. Hee hee, but I don't wish to cooperate with you anymore. Sure Fong said in a deep tone. You? Gentle Snow's expression suddenly turned cold. However, very quickly, she calmed back down. She no longer had her high and aloof attitude, her face revealing a calm smile as she said, I apologize for my previous poor manners. I wonder if you can reconsider? Our Ouroboros is willing to pay double the price of the other guilds. Shurfong nodded his head, saying with a smile, All right then, seeing as you are so sincere. After this scene, everyone else thought that they had heard wrong. The incomparably proud snow goddess actually surrendered. Moreover, she even apologized for her previous behavior. How terrifying was this black flame? Currently, Zhao Yueru's eyes were shining as they looked at black flame with admiration. She knew full well how proud and intelligent Gentle Snow was. Since meeting her, Zhao Yueru had never seen a person who could make Gentle Snow apologize. I wonder how you wish to cooperate. Gentle Snow sent a glare towards the snickering Zhao Yueru behind her, then looked back at Shi Feng and asked, It's very simple. I am planning to establish a loose lifestyle organization called Horizon Alliance and recruit all sorts of lifestyle players. You just need to help me advertise it and spread its influence, and I'll give your guild a discounted price. I'll even sell you equipment and tools that are unavailable to the public, Sure Fong unhurriedly said. You really want to establish such an organization? Gentle Snow was slightly shocked. Although she did not think highly of Sure Fong, the terms he stated were very attractive. Zhao Yueru's eyes widened in shock. She unbelievably looked at Shi Feng, feeling he was too insane. After everyone else heard Shi Feng, they all thought that Shi Feng simply had too much money to waste. He was actually trying to establish such an organization. Shi Feng's plan was truly outrageous. It was utterly impossible to unify all the lifestyle players. The financial resources physical resources and manpower required to carry out such a feat were simply too great. Every guild has been nurturing their own lifestyle players. Moreover, they only recruited the elites among them in order to avoid wasting resources. That meant that the leftover lifestyle players were just mob characters, and there wouldn't be a big effect if all of them gathered together. The resources needed to nurture these lifestyle players were even more needless. There was not a single guild out there who was willing to bear such a price. Of course, if it were to succeed, the profits would be truly unimaginable. You don't have to worry about this. When the time comes, I will naturally notify you to help me advertise the organization and spread its influence. In any case, you all don't have anything to lose. Of course, I will give you all some remuneration in advance. Ten glimmer chestplate forging designs should be enough for your guild to nurture quite a few forgers. If Shi Feng were to advertise the organization himself, not to mention how much time it would waste, the effects would not be that great. He would need a lot of time to increase the organization's influence. However, it was a different story if Ouroboros were the ones advertising the organization. They could practically cover the entire Star Moon Kingdom, greatly shortening the process of gathering influence. Gentle Snow gave Shurfang's offer some thought. It was not much work for them to do the advertising. They could also obtain ten glimmer chestplate forging designs now, allowing them to widen the gap between Ouroboros and the other guilds. They would also be able to nurture a large batch of lifestyle players, earning even more coins. As for the matter of establishing such a lifestyle alliance, Nurturing lifestyle players in large batches meant it was a process of constantly spending money. It wouldn't be long before such a plan would collapse. Nurturing lifestyle players was an extremely tough task. If Shurfong did not possess the resource and financial support from a large guild, it would be very hard for him to obtain any achievements. Following which, Gentle Snow signed a contract with Shurfong stating that she was willing to help Shure Fong spread his organization's influence throughout the entire Star Moon Kingdom. After doing so, Shure Fong must repay her with a hundred pieces of level 10 mysterious iron equipment. 
At the same time, Ouroboros will be able to purchase equipment and tools from Shurfong at the discounted price. Gentle Snow looked rather happy after receiving the 10 Glimmer chestplate forging designs. She passed the forging designs to an assassin, letting him take the forging designs back to the guild. Then, she looked towards Shurfong, inviting him, I see that the number of humanoid monsters is quite high here. Although their levels are slightly higher, it is a good place to level up. Why don't you level up with us? It would be much faster than leveling up by yourself.